In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed a Google form into your WordPress site. And the same process works for any type of website, not just WordPress, because all you do is copy and paste a snippet into your site to create the form there. And if you haven't created a Google form before, I've linked to a video in a card that just popped up over here. And you'll be able to click on that card to see that video where I create a Google form and walk you through it if you don't have one yet. If you do have one and you want to embed it, we're doing that right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start embedding our Google Forms. I'll see you there. To embed a Google Form onto your WordPress site, the first thing you need is a Google Form. I've got another video I'll link to down below that shows you how to create a Google Form, all the question types, and how to use the Google Form and the responses that you get. And in this video, I'm going to assume you already have a form in place. If you know you have a form, head over to docs.google.com forward slash forms, and that will take you to this page. You may have to sign in to get here, and it's going to have a list of all the forms in your Drive account. The one that we created in the last video is this test form right here. I'm just going to click on it to open it and click on the send button. And now you have options in here to send by email via link or embed, which is this one here. I have an error message saying that file uploads are not allowed if for embedded forms. I had a file upload question in my demo form. So if you have one as well, we have to delete that. It's going to head down to question six, which is the file upload form. Click on the trash can. And now it's saving, saved. So now if we go back into the embed area, we should see the embed code, which is right here. If we just click on the copy button there. We could change the width and height if we want to. Just gonna click on copy, head into our WordPress site. Now, if we go to a page, just add a new page, and we paste this code in here, we're gonna see what the form looks like in all its glory. I wanna make sure we're on the text editor over here to paste the embed code then click on publish. Then we can head out to the website to see what that form looks like. So here we have the Google form on our page. It goes inside of your existing theme because it's just like a regular page and the content shows up in here. The height, as you can see, we have, to, we have to scroll, but we can change the height setting inside of this code here. Height's currently 500. If we change that to 1000 and update, that should fix the scrolling for that first page of the form. We head back out here and refresh this page. Now our height here is no problem. It's even a bit longer than we need. However, I know that this form has a very long page. So if you have multiple pages on your form, I encourage you to go and find the longest page. This one, no scrolling required as well. But then when we get to the next one, it's a really long page. Now the scroll bar is back because it's a very long page of the form. So if you wanna have it so you don't scroll, you wanna get to the longest page of your form. Then you wanna change the height until it fits onto one page. So I just changed the height to 2000, updated it, gonna see how it looks on the front end. And then refresh this front end. We're gonna to have to go through the form again, more than likely. Yeah, we do. And now we see there's no scroll bar. Oh, there's still a scroll bar. But it's a lot shorter scroll. So 2000 is just a little bit not enough. So if we go back in here, 2300 should do it, change to that, and then click update, then refresh the form again. Got to go through those first two questions just as before. Quickly fill out question one and two, and now there is no scroll bar. Well, there's the main scroll bar for the browser, but no scroll bar inside of this form window. So we have the right height for the form. So let's go quickly finish filling this out so that we can see how to find responses to this form. Fill out the answers. And again, like I said, if you wanna know how to create a form, that's in the video that I linked to down below where I go through how to create exactly this form. Fill in a time, 4.42 p.m. Then click on submit. And now we have this customized message. Thanks, not much customization, but it is customized, believe it or not. If I head back into the test form area, we now have two responses. One response was from the first video when I created the form. The second response was from just now. So we can see a summary of all responses on this tab. So it shows two responses, and here's what they are, test one and then test, test two and then test. Then it shows a nice pie chart for that multiple choice question. And each of the questions where you can select choices has a different type of chart, which is pretty cool even the time broken out. Then you can look at individual responses by clicking on individual. This is the first entry. 
click on this little arrow here to get the second entry and go back and forth. You can open all these responses up in a Google Sheet by clicking on this Google Sheet icon and that will load everything into here. Now you can do spreadsheet type stuff on these answers if you want to and need to. And that's how we embed a Google form into WordPress. The biggest drawback is the appearance of it. Likely this design is not gonna fit into your theme. You can change a little bit by changing the palette over here. So if we change it to green, for example, refresh this page, we don't have the form in green. So maybe you can fit it in a little bit better that way. But Google Forms does open a lot of CSS hooks for you. So if you want me to do a tutorial on how to customize the CSS of a Google Form, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know how much demand there is for it, so I didn't do that video right off the bat. But if you want to know how to do that, let me know in the comments below. If I get enough interest in it, I'll create a tutorial where we customize the CSS of a Google Form. And that's how easy it is to embed Google Forms into your WordPress site or any website for that matter. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next, click one of these things that popped up over here so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it. I will see you in the next video.